Good morning YouTubers, it's uh, 3.45 in the morning and uh, I'm just waiting for my uh, buddy to turn up and we're going to launch the new dive boat this morning. Right, today's the day we're going to launch the new dive boat. Uh, we're, we're up at silly o'clock because um, High tide's at 6.30 in Cornwall this morning and we need to get there before high tide so that the tide picks the boat up and takes her out. Yeah, all will be revealed when we get there. So um, basically I want to explain why we're going to Talon Bay and not Polpero. So Polpero, for those of you that don't know it, it's a fantastic little harbour and a great little village but there's no access for to get the van into the harbour. It's really narrow streets. Uh, so, and the components of the boat, although they break down into six pieces, the actual pontoons are quite heavy, I mean they're really heavy, you know, for two guys to carry, you, you wouldn't be able to carry it. So um, we thought that the, the distance from the car park in Polparo down to the harbour, trying to carry all those pieces of boat would be too much. So we had the idea of actually launching at Talon Bay, which is around the coast, because you can get the van right up to the beach, and we can get all the stuff out, build it on the beach, and then motor it around into Polparo. So that was the reason for going to Talon Bay. And the reason why it was time critical with the tides is because the, the tide in Polpero Harbour um, is very, very narrow. You've really got, I don't know, I'd say less than an hour before you, you, you haven't got enough depth to get the boat in and out uh, to where we're allowed to keep it. Tighten it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to warn you in advance, there's a lot of swearing in this. Um, we have a really disappointing situation arise when we get to Talon Bay. Um, and I do give it a lot of um, F words. So, um, And I don't have that facility to, to bleep them out. I'm really using an, an ancient Windows Movie Maker software uh, for editing so it hasn't got anything like that. Here we are, Talon Bay, 6.10 in the morning. Fuck me, that looks rough. Oh, fuck me, that looks rough. It weren't supposed to be rough. Oh, fucking Jesus. Oh, fuck. Ah!
Right, here we are. Well, the weather forecast wasn't supposed to be like this. It's really rough. Rough for trying to build this cat, this uh, boat anyway. I'm launching it from here. We've got to build it. We've got to drag the parts down here onto the beach, build it, and then try and get it in the water. It ain't going to happen. What a waste. Right, so we're going for plan B now, so we've come down to Polpero, but I've probably explained before, you can't get near to the harbour in a vehicle. It's just, it's like horse and cart city, you know what I mean? So, this is what it's like. Right then, plan B. So, we get back in the van, and we go around to Polpero. Uh, it's still early hours of the morning, so there's not been nobody around. Um, and we decide whether we're going to be able to try and manhandle all this stuff down to the harbour and, and build it down there. This is the only way. We'll get in there, mate. No, this is it. This is, this is the bit I said about. Right. And you can only get a little car in. If, if that. Yeah, you won't get through there. Amazingly, one of us has the idea of going down to the harbour side and seeing if there's any kind of trolley or, or something that we can use, you know, some wheels. And there is, there's a little turntable trolley down there which they use for moving stuff around. So we borrow that uh, and start unloading the van.
our problems aren't over yet. If you look at the water, while we're building the boat, while we're, we're assembling the boat, you can see how fast the water is dropping. That becomes a big problem. We realise then that we can't actually, now the boat's made and it's a lot heavier, we can't actually move it out into the harbour uh, by hand to where we're going to moor it. And uh, as the tide's gone out, it's going to be another 12 hours. What are we going to do? So as luck would be on our side, we make, we bump into a really nice guy um, who's been searching for the album Mile himself uh, over the years, a uh, local chap, and he's also a diver obviously, uh, and he and his son offer to to move the, once the tide comes back in, they, they, they've offered to actually move the boat for us and moor it in its proper location, which is going to save us a great deal of time and effort. So it means we don't have to hang around for the next 12 hours down in Polpero. We can literally just leave it there. They're going to take care of it tonight when the tide comes in. They're going to position it for us on its mooring and secure it. And that is just a real, real benefit to us and a real help. And we were really, really grateful to those guys for helping us out. There you go. The people of Polpero, so friendly and helpful. So we came down the next weekend and there's two still photographs there of, uh, of me, uh, the proud daddy, on the boat for the first time. Right, absolutely gutted. We just got down here and put my dry suit on and it's ripped the neck I, didn't, I wasn't even putting any pressure on it it just split straight down unbelievable it's just I can't believe it it's the first dive we were going to have on the new dive boat and we've, we've gone all this trouble taking the day off we've got two of us here both losing a day's pay we've got We've driven 100 miles, all this kit, and straight away my next seal goes. Unbelievable, this is like, it's been out like five times this suit, literally, five or six dives this suit has been in. Oceanic. But we made the best of it and we just took, took her out into the harbour 
uh, just to just to try it out really, see if it worked, and yeah, performed great. Happiness, look, that's Dave happy. Well, as happy as he can be. The steering position's not great, you know, sitting down like that on the ground is it's not ideal. Um, and I think the Mark II version will have a steering console. So you don't have to kneel down there. But that's for the future. So here we are, we can get on with the next episode of the search for the album mile. Now we've got our boat in Polperro Harbour, the boat's fully working, it's great. So the next episode you see, you have to excuse the rain, it's coming down pretty hard here in Devon today. Okay, so we're going to start filming now. Uh, the search underwater, there's going to be a lot more, I know you guys have been saying, you know, we haven't seen any footage of you actually searching under the water, and that's because of the dive boat build, but now the dive boat's finished, and we can get to what we're really actually here for, and that's getting down on the bottom, getting a metal detector out, and searching. So look out now for episode 6 of the search for the album mile. We're filming it now.